God, that is a sexy ass truck. And it is done. And welcome back to Wicked F-150. So, as you just saw, the six inch lift is on and the roll bar is on as well. Uh, today, I did the tow hooks red. Not sure how I feel about it yet. Uh, we'll see if it grows on me. Uh, I can always, you know, repaint them black if need be. But, uh, let's take a look at the six inch. So, in the little preview video I posted, I had some guy say that it doesn't look like a six inch uh, angle. All of that plays a part into it. Uh, you can definitely tell that it's a six inch standing where I am. Uh, looks a lot bigger than the four inch did. And the incline before anybody makes comment about the front being higher, but it is actually higher. So we had to adjust them. Well, not me, but the shop had to adjust them. Uh, Iron Goat Garage here in Yukon amazing shop they put them on lowered the truck down and the front was horribly high than the back uh he did say that coilovers have a big tendency to uh, start to settle more than anything else because they're adjustable and all of that but we went ahead and moved them down a little bit uh so it sits the front does sit a little bit high at the moment but i'm um, taking it back this saturday uh, for one more thing on the roll bar, which we'll get to, and then uh, retighten everything on the suspension and all that, and we'll check it then, because I should have, hell, at least 500 miles on the truck by the end of the week. So uh, we'll see if how the suspension has sagged since then. But it was a pain for him to adjust these, which is done right here, uh, because of the hoses in the way. Uh, it doesn't make for easy adjustment uh, height wise but here is the adjustable knob as to how stiff or soft you want your ride to be um, I did put on the rears I put them on the other day and uh, maybe 40 miles with the rears on and man <laughs> I'm telling you it rides like a Cadillac it, it, it is super nice uh, these here if you can see arrow here I have it set on one uh, all it is is a click it is that simple to change uh, your ride capability. So if I'm going off road and I want to go a little faster, I'm going to adjust this, you know, five and up. Uh, of course, if you're towing, you want to make it a little stiffer as well. It's the same thing with the rears. Let's take a look at those. Also adjustable. Here, uh, see the arrow set on one. Same thing up to eight. Now. Like I said, I put these on myself, uh, and I did have to cut away the fin, uh, the rear wheel well liner on both sides uh, for the reservoir knob itself. These are two and a half uh, in comparison to the four inch, because when you get a lift kit, you have the choice of getting just a huge spacer block to give you the amount of lift that you want, or you can get the lifted struts themselves. I chose to get the lifted struts themselves and Rough Country's updated V2s for the rear. And I mean, I was happy with it. The front rode amazing. It rode like factory. I had zero complaints whatsoever. For my taste, the V2s were a little rough because they're more of an off-road tune shock. But I will say they're better than the Bilsteins. I had Bilstein 5100s on the rear before, and there's just one spot on a bridge here that is absolutely horrible. Uh, if you're going above 60 on the highway <laughs> and you hit this split in the bridge and the concrete, it feels like you're gonna wreck. Your ass and uh, wobbles and jumps that much. Uh, the Bilsteins, of course, did help better than factory, but the V2s, I mean, I, it was planted. I had no issues with the V2s whatsoever. Definitely a better planted ride than even the Bilsteins. I have nothing bad to say about either one of them. So far, driving home on the front, which is five miles, I <laughs> uh, did great. I have no issues with that either so far. So, of course, I'll keep you guys updated. I want to get these on before I do a full review of how everything's la uh, held up and all of that. So, we'll see in about a month how these are lasting. 
uh, so I can include them in the full review of everything. Now this is the roll bar, of course. Custom made by Iron Goat Garage here in Yukon, Oklahoma. Now, if you like the layout and design, even if you don't, <laughs> they will make it for you. Um, it's, if, it's even easier if you have a F-150 because of course they already have the measurements and everything. Uh, so if you're not local, you can just call them up and order one and they'll be able to ship it to you. Uh, and it's seven, 700 for this exact roll bar if you want that one, uh, if you want the exact same setup. If you want to personalize it to yourself, like, uh, you know, your own logo, name, whatever, uh, that's 750 So you could be, like I said, Oklahoma, you could be in Maine and watching this video and want one of these roll bars, just call them up. Again, Iron Goat Garage down here in Yukon, Oklahoma, and uh, talk to them. Absolutely amazing group of guys. So here on the outside, of course, you can see the webbing, Wicked F-150 here, spider in the corner, and I had them bolt it into the side uh, of the bed, like every other modern roll bar that you get, I have people arguing with me about that. I tell you what, people like to argue just for the sake of arguing. But uh, I had them bolted on just like that. Now the top, the top piece that runs the whole way across, because it's, it's the same thing on the other side. Uh, they put the Wicked F-150 in the middle there, and then the cutouts so you can still see the third brake light and the cargo lights coming through. Now on the top, if you can see, I had them do Ford on the top of it. I, it looks absolutely amazing, uh, and it's actually not done. Uh, I'm too impatient, and I wanted it on the truck as soon as possible, so they went ahead and installed it, but I have to take it back this coming Saturday for a surprise that you guys can see, you know, next weekend. <laughs> but uh, it shouldn't take that long to add the surprise. But on the top, let's get a top view here. Uh, the holes, I, that's just, I had them do that to add the, you know, look of durability, like you could stand on it, which you could, uh, he said he was standing on it and had no issues. Like I said, Ford here, and then the cutouts underneath. And I'm telling you what, I love it. I don't think they could have done a better job on this. <sighs> I'm telling you, I can't. I can't take, can't wait to take it to a show and see what people say about it. Uh, but that is it for today. The six inch, the roll bar. Next weekend, of course, the last custom piece to the roll bar will be getting installed. Uh, stay tuned for that. I have some new headlights coming out, or coming to me. Pretty sure you guys are gonna wanna wait and see those. Um, I have a feeling you're gonna like those. So we'll see how that works out. But I hope you guys have a great week. Stay tuned. Like the truck. Hit up Iron Goat Garage for anything your vehicle needs. It doesn't, I mean, they're known for Jeeps, but they do absolutely anything. F-150s, Super Duties, 2500s, 1500s. It doesn't matter. They'll do it. Um, I think that's it. Hit the like, subscribe button. I'll see you all next time.